Hey, 7th graders, it's Mr. Sarley. Welcome back to your YouTube math homework review. This week, we're continuing with adding fractions on the front of the homeworks, but we're going to mix it up a little bit and use mixed numbers. Um, and some students are a little scared of mixed numbers, and I think that's probably just because you haven't used them very much. And hopefully by the end of uh, this week in doing these homeworks, you'll find that they're actually really easy to work with. Um, and if you notice, I have two different types of visuals. Um, this is an area model, and this is a line model. And I'm going to model these problems in th both of those ways because I'm hoping one of them will make a lot of sense to you and will help you. Um, okay, so let's start with this first problem. The first problem says 1 and 1 fourth plus 2 and 1 fourth. Okay, so the 1 is one whole. And that's the same if we're talking about fourths as four fourths. So notice here, I'm going to shade in a whole, and that's the same as one, two, three, four fourths. But this first fraction, mixed number says one and one fourth. So that's like one whole and one little part that's left over. So that's how you would show one and one fourth. But now we want to add two holes and one fourth extra. So I'm going to jump over here and just shade in two holes here. So this is one hole and that's four fourths. And there's another hole, that's another four fourths. So that's the two part, but then I got to do this one fourth extra and I do that right here. Um, and what we end up getting is one two, three holes, and then one, two-fourths left over. Um, all right, so that's one way to show it there with the area model. I'm going to move down to the line model now, and I'll try to use the same colors. The first fraction says one hole and one-fourth. Notice how there's like a number line here. These numbers are holes. That's one hole, that's two holes, that's three holes, that's four holes, and you can kind of see with the rectangles here, like that would be a hole, that's four fourths, this would be two holes, and so on. Okay, um, so to do the first fraction, we shade in one hole and one fourth. For the second fraction, um, I'm just going to continue where I left off. And for each hole, I'm going to use four fourths. So this is two holes, so it's going to be one, two, three. That's one hole. One, two, three, four. That's another hole. And now one fourth extra would be right there. And now this fraction, if we look at it, is goes all the way up to three holes, which is right there. And then it goes two-fourths more than that. Um, so again, the answer is three and two-fourths. And maybe you notice that what we ended up doing was taking the holes, one hole and two holes, and we got three holes, and then we took the parts, one-fourth and one-fourth, gave us two-fourths. All right, I wanted to go over that one a lot, just so it made lots of sense. I'll go over the next one a little bit quicker. This next problem says 1 and 3 fourths plus 1 and 1 fourth. So I'm going to start by shading in one hole and then 3 fourths extra. 1, 2, 3. Now I'm going to add one hole and 1 fourth. So let me start with a hole over here. And then with my little fractional part, I'm going to add one-fourth. Um, and now if I look at it, the one and the one hole made two holes, but then the three-fourths and the one-fourth made another hole. So the answer here would be three, because it forms three holes. Um, I'm going to show that down here now. One and three-fourths, so I'm going to shade in... That's one hole, and now three-fourths, so one, two, three. That's the first fraction. 
Now the second fraction says one and one fourth. Since it's fourths, I know four parts is a whole. So one, two, three, four, and then the one fourth extra. Okay, and so now that length goes from zero all the way to three holes. So again, our answer is three holes. And what we ended up doing was pretty simple. We could just think about it like adding the two holes together, two, and then adding three fourths and one fourth, which gives us four fourths. But it would be silly to write it that way because four fourths is a whole. So two and four fourths, again, is just three holes. All right, let's see if we can do this without any pictures. So three fourths plus, oh, it's three and one fourth plus two and two fourths. Well, let's start by adding the holes. So three holes and two holes would be five holes. Now let's add the parts, one fourth plus two fourths. That's easy, they're the same size, so it goes to three fourths. And we don't really need to do anything else. Our answer is going to be five holes and three fourths. So that would be the mixed number there. Um, all right, and this last one says four and, and one fourth plus three and three fourths. So if we add the holes, that would give us seven. And then if we add the fractions, one fourth and three fourths would be four fourths. But again, four fourths is the same as a whole. So seven and another whole would equal eight, and so this answer is eight. Hopefully you felt like that wasn't too bad. I actually like working mix, with mixed numbers because you can combine things pretty easily. Hola, seventh graders, and welcome to your YouTube math homework review. It's Mr. Sarley, and let's jump right into it. We've been adding mixed numbers on our homework, and this first one, well, it actually starts off with just a basic fraction, three-fourths, and then we're adding a mixed number to it, one and one-fourth. Let's start off with the area model. I'm going to shade in, so this, this whole thing is a whole. I'm going to shade in three parts out of four. Each one of these little squares is a fourth of the whole. Um, and then we're going to add one whole and one-fourth. So there's one whole. And then that last part would be one and one fourth. And notice what happens. Um, three fourths plus one and one fourth. Well, the three fourths and the one fourth, they form a second hole. So we have one hole and two holes. The answer would just be the whole number two. If we picture that on a line model, starting from zero, we're going to shade in three-fourths, one, two, three. Then for the mixed number, we're going to shade in one and one-fourth. And one and one-fourth, that's the same as four-fourths and one-fourth more than that, because one whole is four-fourths. Just felt like I would show you that, just in case you get confused with this diagram. So I'm going to shade in one, two, three, four fourths, and then the one fourth extra. And now it started at zero and it went all the way to two holes. So that's another way of seeing that the answer is two holes. And finally, if we did it just with the numbers, three fourths plus one and one fourth, well, Let's just start with that one, and then if we add three-fourths and one-fourth, that's four-fourths, and that's the same thing as two holes. All right, for this second one, we have two mixed numbers, but the denominators are different, and you can't just add one-fourth and one-half together unless they're the same size pieces. Um, so we're going to start 
by making the denominators the same. I'll do that down here. So 2 and 1 fourth, that one can stay the same. But 1 and 1 half, let's change the 1 half into an equivalent fraction of fourths. And that fraction would turn into 1 and 2 fourths. OK, cool. So 2 and 2 fourths plus 1 and 2 fourths. All right, and this one's not going to be hard at this point. Um, with the first fraction, we have two wholes and 1 fourth. And then with the second fraction, we have 1 and 2 fourths. So 1 and 2 fourths. OK. And now let's just see what we have. We have 1, 2, 3 wholes. And our 1 fourth and our 2 fourths gave us 1, 2, 3 fourths left over. So 3 wholes and 3 fourths. Let's try doing a line diagram, just to picture it in a different way. So we start off with two holes. So that's the first hole. That's the second hole. And one fourth extra. And then we have one and two fourths. Remember that four fourths, would, that's what that one is. That one is a hole. And then two fourths left over, one. 2. And now notice that it goes all the way. Here's three holes. It's more than that. It's right here. And this spot on this number line is 3 and 3 fourths. And you can just kind of see it in lots of different ways. One hole, two holes, three holes. And the last one is 3 fourths of another hole. So that's what we end up with, 3 and 3 fourths. And finally, just visual or just symbolically, we have the 2 and the 1. Adding those together would give us 3 wholes. And then we have 1 fourth and 2 fourths together. That would give us 3 fourths. The final answer is 3 and 3 fourths. All right, so without the pictures, I mean, I still picture them in my head. Um, we have 7 and 3 fourths plus 2 and 2 fourths. And already I can tell that we're going to be adding an extra hole here because 3 and 2 is going to give us more than 4 fourths. But let's just start with, let's just start with the 7 plus... 2 as our holes, that gives us 9. And then 3 fourths plus 2 fourths is going to give us 5 fourths. And 5 fourths is more than a whole. Um, 4 fourths would be one whole, 5 fourths would be one more than that. So I'm going to rewrite this as the mixed number 1 and 1 fourth. Now I have nine holes, and there's an extra one. So that's going to give us ten holes. And finally, there's one fourth left over. So our final answer would be ten and one fourth. All right, last one with the mixed numbers. I can tell right away I'm going to have to do something because we don't have like denominators. We have 1 fourth, and then we have 5 twelfths, and twelfths are very little, so and fourths are bigger than that. So we're going to have to break down the fourths, and let's try to turn them into twelfths, which we can do because 4 goes into 12. So we find an equivalent fraction by multiplying the numerator and denominator by 3. And that would give us 3 twelfths. And now let's rewrite this first fraction as two wholes. That part, the wholes doesn't change, but the fractional part does. The 1 fourth turns into 3 
twelfths. And so now the problem is 2 and 3 twelfths plus 1 and 5 twelfths. And hopefully now you see that this isn't going to be too tricky now. Because we can add up the holes first. 2 and 1 equals 3. Then we can add up the little parts. 3 twelfths plus 5 twelfths equals 8 twelfths. And our answer would be 3 and 8 twelfths. And as a bonus, 8 twelfths can be written in a simpler way. Um, so I'm looking for a factor of 8 and 12. And I see that I can divide them both by 4. And that gives us 2 thirds. So another way of writing our answer would be 3 holes and 2 thirds of another hole.